Guide to fill in the KYC form. Attention! The laws have changed and unfortunately, for you and for us, you must comply with them. Please be patient and do not forget that you cannot leave any field blank. If you have reasonable doubts, please thoroughly read the following before contacting us, you can ask us by WhatsApp. For personalized assistance you can pay 20 euros by PayPal and once you have paid contact us on WhatsApp at. Remember that, if you do not comply, we are forced to quit and your company will be inactivated. Keep the following documents ready. 1. Passport or Identity Card. 2. Name of the company or foundation. 3. If already established, the registration data. 4. Two professional references with name, surname, address, telephone number, and email address. 5. A utility bill for water, electricity, gas, etc. This is called proof of address, or utility bill in international terms and must be recent, no more than two months old. 6. Proof of income, this can be, a copy of your income tax return, a certified letter from an accountant declaring how much you earn per year, a bank statement, a salary verification letter confirming your income, a financial statement prepared by an accountant, a pension certificate, etc. Welcome to the services order form. You must select the type of service requested, as the data we need to process your request is different depending on the service you need. We will start the incorporation of the company or foundation with the name of the applicant, which can be the owner or the lawyer or accountant who is doing the paperwork for you. All fields must be completed. We will now select the type of product. We start with the companies. Here is a list of companies. Each country may require different data. Select, for example, Panama Company. Panama Company can be SA, Incorporated, Incorporation, Corp, Corporation, AG, as indicated in the note, there is no legal difference between these types of companies, so you can use the one you prefer. If there are several partners, the majority shareholder or the one representing the other partners must appear in the first field, if there are other partners they must appear in the second field. First name, last name and percentage of shareholding. Next, you must enter the name you have chosen for the company. In case the name is very common, it may already be registered, so we ask you for one or more alternative names. If you have chosen, for example, Marbella Services, you can use Marbella Web Services, Marbella International Services, Marbella Corporate Services, Marbella Services for the World, etc. as alternative names. Providing more alternative names avoids delays in case the main name chosen is not available. Moving on to the Board of Directors or Council of Administration. The names of the administrators, which by law must be a minimum of three, are public, so if you use your name, you lose your anonymity. We provide you with the administrators at no additional cost, just select yes. When you click no, additional fields will open in which you will have to enter the names and last names of the administrators. Only one person can hold the positions of president, secretary, and treasurer. The president secretary can in practice manage the company by themselves. We automatically provide you with the other two names if you do not have them, so in the treasurer and partner field enter the nominee director. We now proceed to the description of the economic activity or corporate purpose. In this field you must describe the activity or activities you wish to develop. Note that this will not limit the activities of the company. Now, you will be asked to state where and by whom the accounting records are kept, this is a very important piece of information required by law. You have to provide the first and last name, telephone numbers, email address, full address and the country where the accounting records are kept. This information is required by law, but it is not public, so don't be afraid to put your name and address or that of your accountant if you have one. To facilitate the compilation of accounting records we offer an online service with a lifetime license, www.cpadatapanama.com, but you can use any accounting software. You will now have to fill out the KYC form. Oh no, another form. Yes, unfortunately, both, lawyers and public accountants, are obliged to evaluate, through this form and other techniques, the risk that the client may represent. This form is not public, it is only for our use, it is used to establish that your activity is not a risk, money laundering, terrorist financing or any other type of criminal activity. Therefore, by law, it is mandatory to fill in all fields. 
The annual renewal form asks for the above data in a simplified form and serves to identify if there have been any changes. Therefore, you should follow the same guidelines if you are renewing your corporation or foundation. You must complete all forms the first time. We start with the KYC of the beneficiary. This form must be completed by each beneficiary of each corporation or foundation. The required data are simple, first names, surname, date of birth, nationality, residence address, tax residence, if the two addresses are the same, enter the same in the second field. Passport or ID number, your personal tax identification number, spouse's name, if you don't have one you will enter single, your occupation and its detailed description, you cannot enter entrepreneur, instead you can put restaurant manager, close salesman, pensioner, etc. And next you are asked for the name of the company you are currently working for and then the activity of the company, only if you have a permanent job, if you are self-employed you will have to enter self-employed or if you are a pensioner, etc. And next, enter your contact telephone numbers, home and mobile and email. Finally, we ask for the address to which you want the documents to be sent. If it is different from your home address, remember that you cannot leave any field blank. The following is the PEP, or politically exposed person's, statement. The purpose of this statement is to determine if you or anyone in your family may be using public funds. We also ask for two personal references. Both are mandatory and you must complete the required information, they can be from a lawyer, your bank, your accountant or a business reference. These data are not public and are mandatory, so please do not answer I am an orphan or I don't know anyone. We are almost done. We only need information about your financial situation, here we ask for the name of the company you have applied for, the date of incorporation or order and the type of activity of the company. A holding is a company that owns property and shares of other companies. An investment company is, for example, buying and selling real estate, trading, stock exchange, etc. The other options are selling online or selling of physical goods, such as a store, a restaurant, an importer or an exporter. The activity of the company or foundation is also requested as in the application. And whether or not you have applied for nominee directors. Now you have to specify the sources of the company's funds, that is to say, the money you have invested or will invest in this activity. It can be from savings, income from a permanent job or a pension. If you enter gift, you will be asked for additional documents. The following fields must be filled in with the countries in which the company will operate. It can be for example Panama and Italy or Panama and Spain. Minimum two countries are the three or four most important ones. Do not put Europe, the world, Oceania, etc. Now, you must indicate the address from where you are going to manage your company. It must be a concrete address, for example, the address where you spend most of your time during the year. The following questions refer to your properties and investments. There are several fields to select here, you must select at least one. At the end you have to put the average annual income that you have obtained during the previous year and, if applicable, the data of the assets or businesses that will control the company or foundation that you are incorporating. That's it. We are almost done, all you have to do is re-enter the data from the custodian of the accounting records. Remember that you cannot place our law office. Now you have to sign the form. Many clients have told me that they do not have a printer available. Therefore, insert a digital signature. Unfortunately, the digital signature is different from the one you have on your documents. So, take a sheet of paper, put your signature, take a selfie with the signed sheet next to your face and upload the photo here. All information you provide to us is covered by professional secrecy. You should be careful when indicating contradictory data, otherwise we will have to ask you further questions and investigate the reason for these contradictory data, so please read the forms carefully before sending them to us. Sorry for taking up your time, but we did not invent the bureaucracy. It's time to turn your life around. Get information on our website or book a life change consultation. www.opm01.com